for us. Uh, I thought our guys did a great job of, uh, of jumping out offensively. You know, we didn't have a very good game offensively yesterday, uh, and our guys you know, found a way to, to come out and score early. Uh, we put pressure on Ohio State all day. Found ways to, to move some runners and get some big hits and clutch situations, and then you know we were very solid on the mound. We made a couple mistakes defensively that, that uh, made the game tight, uh, but our guys did a good job uh, being relaxed, and uh, you know Tyler did a great job out of the bullpen for us. Open up for questions. Yes, sir. Well, uh, I mean, we got like you said, we got here pretty early. Um, you know, uh, there's there's great stuff in the holding rooms. Uh, you know, TV. Um, went and watched a lot of rounds of uh, BP in the cages. Um, you know, just like like you said, anything to stay relaxed and stay locked in. Um, I listened to music a little bit, but I mean, other than that, it was just a waiting game. Yeah, personally, I actually uh, was sitting in the cages just to stay awake, so I wasn't falling asleep because I was pretty tired. It was like 6 a.m. or whatever we had to get up. So personally, yeah, I was just standing there. Dre was keeping me up. A couple guys came by, smacked me a little bit. But yeah, uh, I was good to go by game. So. Hey, you guys excited to like sleep in a little bit? Two back-to-back 9 a.m. games. It's, yeah. it's going to be nice. It's <laughs> going to be like, yeah, it's gonna be great. Kevin, we could talk to the your mentality to take the ball where Coach always speaks to you guys and are focused on the here and now, not paying attention to bubble talk or anything outside of you guys. But the reality is, it's kind of dicey for you to want the ball in these situations to get a win for your team. Just talk about that and the mentality you have. Um, coming in, like you said, it, you know, it, kind of being on the bubble, you know, it, it was a must-win game for us. Um, I, I didn't really, you know, focus on that too much. I just kind of went out there and. Did what I could do, and uh, you know, if, if it would have been a loss, it would have been a loss. You know, a, a win is obviously nice, but um, you don't really think about that all too much, especially when you got you know 30 guys behind you that are all fighting to do the same exact thing. So, Kevin, talk about uh, trying to get focused again after the air opened up the inning and got Ohio State back in the game. I, I mean, that's baseball. Um, you know, it, it wasn't the first error made behind me, and God knows it won't be the last. So, uh, you know, that's that's just one of those things where it's baseball. You just keep playing. Um, you know, I, I thought that the offense did a much better job uh, coming out and, you know, putting pressure on them right back, you know, right away um, after that game got close again. Um, you know, I, I thought that we rebounded uh, very well from the mistakes that we made, and, uh, you know, it, it shows for it at the end of the day. Both could talk about the lineup today. I mean, everybody got a hit. Offensively, when everybody's going like that, is you guys more relaxed? And Kevin, when you see the guys doing what they're doing, do you pitch more loose and relaxed, knowing that they're going to have your back? Well, yeah. When when everybody's hitting, you know, it's it's much easier uh, to pitch. You know, you're you're uh, there's there's a lot more room for error. Obviously, when there's runs up in front of you. Um, I thought it was big that uh, that Dave and Reed had a good day. You know, they're they're two uh, leaders in the field, and I feel like whenever they have a good day, everybody has a good day. And I say for the most part, our team's pretty relaxed, like most of the time, anyway. So, I mean, it's, uh, personally, when I come in, it's no different. It's just our team's pretty relaxed. You're always comfortable. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Any else for the players? Thank you, guys. Coach, no matter who you play tomorrow, you've got a pretty good recent history with either Nebraska or Michigan State with all the one-run games. Uh, can you give us a little preview of each and how, how those games have, have went here late on both sides? Sure. Well, obviously we've seen both teams in, in the recent past. Uh, I have great respect uh, for both teams for a number of reasons. Uh, you know, starting with both their head coaches, I think they're uh, they're very quality. Their teams are very well coached. Uh, they all present problems uh, for you or obstacles. Uh, but uh, I also think that you know we match up well with any team in the tournament uh, because our guys are confident and, and uh, you know we we are capable of playing very very good games and and being anybody in the country. Uh, but 
you know, do I have a preference or anything on which team we play? We're going to have to beat them both somewhere along the line to get where we want to be. Main difference between yesterday and today was? Swung the bats. I mean, there's no doubt. Today we did some situational things much better. We had opportunities yesterday in five innings to score, and we only scored in one. Uh, and that was a, a huge difference. Uh, you know, I, I feel bad for Grayson Johnson. He's, uh, he's gone through that about five times this year. We gave him no run support and pitched well enough to win. Uh, but again, uh, the, the thing that, that I'm so impressed with this team about is the fact that day after day after day, regardless of what the situation is, we rebound and find a way to, to overcome adversity. And, uh, you know, Kevin Duchesne today, uh, he wasn't very sharp. I mean, we want to be realistic about it, he wasn't very sharp. But I'll give him the ball any day because I know he's going to go battle. And we've got a number of guys on our staff that I feel the same way about. Uh, it's not always about being sharp, it's about competing. We've got a bunch of competitors, and, and I thought we showed that today.